guys, what's up? Hope you're having a great day and the first video of 2023 in terms of restaurant is Monarch Poke and I've been hearing about it from other people that um, vlog food. Uh, one of them is Ohana Eats, great uh, vlog. Um, they don't really do YouTube too much anymore but they do great um, little reels and pictures on Instagram so go add them and um, just seeing it on social media and then once I started to look at the menu it gave this connection I'm like wait a minute Bugaong fried rice which they have was on Plantation Tavern's menu and I really enjoyed that place that used to be in Kapolei they closed after the pandemic and then I asked the very friendly lady up front super super friendly service um, if they were uh, related to them and indeed they were and the owner came out super great guy came out and spoke with me and this is what he had to say and the story about Monarch Poke. So we opened a couple months ago with the intent of to do a Plantation Tavern Express as a poke shop front. The kitchen is a lot bigger than Plantation Tavern was so we do a lot of catering and a lot of mass production of food now too. I make a line of salad dressings called vinaigrette, it's called Lensi, and then we sold the bias uh -huh. We sold in uh, food and specialty stores, and commissaries and the NXs. And we have other products we're trying to get in line there. Uh, we're about to introduce a Ube cheesecake, and smoked crab kimchi dip uh, to mass produce. Uh, so hopefully, February, March, we'll get those rolling. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the fish is from the auction block every day of the week, super fresh. And we have some really unique offerings like a tamarind glazed pork rib, uh, miso glazed pork belly is super popular, uh, bulgogi beef bao buns with cucumber kimchi and a gochujang and oli are really wow. popular as well. Um, we're known for poke nachos really at the end of the day, we've been making them for 10 years, you know, so. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you reopened up here in IEA. Yeah, me too, definitely. The community is really, um, it's very different from Copley. Um, it's, it's, it's a really uh, a bigger blending pot than Kapolei was. Mm -hmm. Kapolei was, you know, west side, a lot of locals. This is, there's a lot of military, there's a lot of tourists, but there's also the local Japanese community in Pearl City and Aia. Right. And it's a different group, but it's really cool. And they've been, they've been really humble to, to get busy quickly, which is great. And hopefully we'll continue. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I'm here. Um, I just did a mock set in this private dining room that they're going to do. You said that you're going to do a supper club. A, a club. seven-course wow. French cuisine supper uh -huh. club. Wow. Um, after I get 16, there'll be 16 seats in here, um, alcohol be included, and, um, wow. you know, a reservation only kind of thing. That's I'm, a great I'm idea. I'm going to start once a month, and if it sells out twice a month, and if it sells out three mm -hmm. times a month, and try to do once a week. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Okay, cool. So isn't that cool? that there's an upstairs private room where they're gonna have a supper club. I think it's so cool. Thank you, Chef Adam, uh, for showing me everything about your restaurant. Super cool guy, really mellow and great to talk to. So we'll get into the food. I got three dishes and I splurged today. Obviously I can't eat them all and the lady at the front kind of joked with me. I'm gonna eat the first one, which is uh, obviously they're known for poke. So this is um, something that people don't usually get. Um, obviously, I've eaten many spicy ahis and shoyu pokes and uh, limu pokes, and I'm not gonna show you the same thing over and over, and that's the reason why I picked this. So this is the California ahi poke, and it's basically what you would find in a California roll, but with ahi tuna in there, similar to any other poke cubed. And what makes their poke bowls great is their differences of rice. They don't have a sushi rice, but that's okay. They have white rice, brown rice, and their famous garlic dirty rice. Sometimes people call it dirty rice, but it's their garlic fried rice. Um, I think I think it's amazing from what I remember from Plantation Tavern. I haven't had their new one yet. I have it in the other plate. So I got basically regular white rice with this California uh, ahi poke. So what's in a California roll is what you get. You get the, um, you know, imitation crab shreds. Um, some onion and all that. I don't think there's avocado in here, or is there? No, there is. Little pieces of avocado. So if you're liking um, California rolls as your favorite thing, you're probably gonna love this. I see cucumber as well. So let's take a bite. Oh man, that is so good. Just the flavors coming out of there. 
That's incredible. And usually I don't say that because poke is really good, but I don't know. There's something in there, that seasoning, that makes it so good. The nice crunch of the cucumber with that in certain bites with the softness of the ahi tuna. You got the creamy mayo, almost like a spicy ahi mayo. Um, I did ask for a topping. They have free toppings. You can get like fried onions, I think, furikake, and they have something interesting like a pele aioli, which is a fire sriracha sauce. So I put that on there. So maybe it gives that, that kind of um, spicy ahi vibe, but it's really good with that aioli sauce. Super good. The rice is cooked well. I do say that I don't like hot rice. But this one's not too hot, but it's not cold either. So it's a little bit like in the middle, which isn't bad. But it's got a good consistency. The rice isn't mushy or undercooked. And just the flavors and all the things happening in your mouth. It's like you got a bite of onion, you get a bite of cucumber, you get a bite of the creamy avocado pieces, kind of sliced really thinly in there. Sometimes you get a little bit of the sharpness of the green onion and then just the soft pieces of the fresh poke. Um, she did say when you see, um, I think it's PF. I asked her, what does that mean? It's next to that and it says previously frozen. She said that was a misprint for their menu, that other ahi comes fresh from the auction block every morning at Honolulu Harbor. So you can't go wrong. The imitation crab also gives it flavor and just the seasoning is on point. Really, really flavorful, creamy, spicy ahi type of mayo sauce going on in there. So all in all, a very great, you know, mixture of things that all work together. Different contrasts with the crunchy, the soft, and the creamy, along with the rice. So that's a pretty big portion, I think. I mean, it's a pretty hefty plate of rice and poke. So the California poke bowl and all poke bowls, I believe, are the same price. It is kind of a little expensive, but I think it's a pretty large portion. It's $15.50. Uh, remember, if you go and get a pound of ahi anyway, or any kind of poke with ahi at any place nowadays, it's about $25 to $30 a pound now, depending on the day. So realize the price inflation and the prices these days, flavorful, really good. Can't be beat, I'm happy. All right, up next is the Bogaong fried rice, which um, made me relate this to Plantation Tavern. It was one of their dishes on their menu when they were out in Kapolei. And look at the presentation for a plate lunch. You've got some sliced egg, some Hawaiian chili pepper looks like, looks like some shredded papaya, green papaya, and some shredded onion, all with a bed of Bogaong fried rice. And on top has some lechon or some pork belly. Man, presentation in this plate lunch form, and like the chef said, it's uh, and the owner, uh, Adam, he said he pretty much brought Plantation Tavern back. It's a, in a plate lunch form instead of a dine-in place, but all of the fanciness and the creative dishes and his uh, just imagination with cooking is still here, but just with a different name. And usually when you hear bugaong, people kind of run away, unless you're Filipino. And if you don't know what that means, it's a fermented fish paste or shrimp paste, um, similar to fish sauce, but it's got a stinky smell. But when you cook things with it, it gives it such umami and really great flavor. So um, I'm excited to try this again. I remember having it a long time ago and I enjoyed it. I had good thoughts about it, but it's been a long while. So let's take a taste of this tastes great pretty flavorful and I think you know you can mix up all these things you take a bite of the onion I'm gonna have some green papaya a bit of egg all right let's take a piece of this pork belly it just melts in your mouth I don't know how to describe the flavor it just works kind of got a hint of sweet you got a little bit of caramelization from the you know I don't know what to call it um, not burnt ends like barbecue but you know it's got that bark on the outside caramelization I guess and you pair that with the rice it's almost like this thing is like interactive with the rice you, you can 
pair your rice with a bite of pork belly, you get a little bit of egg, or if you want spice in your life, you put a little bit of Hawaiian chili pepper on top. I'm going to be adventurous and put some Hawaiian chili pepper on top. And down the hatch it goes. Hopefully I don't kill myself. That's a lot of pepper. Winners have a little bit of onion with the pork. Almost like eating lechon. But just a little different. And the bug ong fried rice, don't be scared of shrimp paste or anything fishy. It doesn't taste fishy. It just gives it a nice umami flavor and overall character with the dish. You know, it's a little bit more dimensional than flat. And I think it's a great meal. I love that they add the peppers because actually it's got a lot of heat, but I can handle it. And it's, you know, making your taste buds tingle. So many things going on with the onions and the other toppings. This is awesome. If you're wondering how much the Bug Ong fried rice is, comes with the pork, it is $13.50. And for our last dish, I got the fried salmon belly. And it's market price, so every day the price changes, so does the ahi. But um, why not get it? It's got a beautiful salad going on right there. You can get mac salad if you want, or you can get this toss salad that I got. And it comes with your choice of papaya or calamansi and another dressing that I forgot. Um, but you can look at their menu online and he makes all the dressings as he said and they're for sale at the store if you want to buy the dressing. So let's dig into the salmon. Supposedly um, I think got some sriracha aioli on there and I'm not sure if there's a miso. Well we'll see. Oh wow man that's flavor and the salmon is so soft but the outside has a crispy coating like a batter that they fried so you got a little light crunch and the inside so moist and tender and the sauce on it is so good it's almost like a a little bit of spice but a little bit of sweetness that all balances out it's not too sweet and it's not too spicy again you can get white rice or brown rice but i got their garlic fried rice for this one remember you can also get the garlic fried rice for the uh poke as well it's um, not really a fried rice, it's just garlic infused with some sautéed garlic, but nothing like you would think with fried rice. So it doesn't have all the other things in there like the veggies. Mm. That is some bomb garlic fried rice. It's like Filipino gar gar garlic fried rice, if you ever had the Filipino version. Exactly like that. So good. Full of delicious garlic flavor. So glad I got it. I remember it from Plantation Tavern. So good. Same thing. If you like Plantation Tavern, you will like this place for sure. All right, I'm gonna shake up his homemade calamansi sauce. Calamansi is a little citrus fruit found in places such as the Philippines and other parts of the Pacific. And I'm gonna pour it on here. Sorry, it's... um. The sun keeps moving, so I thought I had a good angle, and now the sun is moving, so some of my shots are dark. But let's taste, taste the salad. I see this interesting radish-looking thing. It's very pretty, pretty purple color. Interesting crunchy texture, but not spicy like other radishes might be. Very mild. You get some pretty spring greens some cucumbers as well and the citrus dressing is very light it's a vinaigrette but not too sour it's pretty balanced but I think um, I wanted to try something new never seen a calamansi dressing before but I think it's a little too light for me I would like something more heavy so next time I think I'm gonna get the papaya seed dressing instead but the salad's great very fresh greens not being cheap like I say all the time if I get a salad. Sometimes you get the iceberg and it's kind of really cheap stuff that they throw in there. But you've got a fancy array of different vegetables, including that very beautiful radish and tomatoes. There's chopped tomatoes, spring greens, cucumbers. It's delicious if you want to be healthy. And if you don't want to be healthy, they always have the old standby, the mac salad. If you're wondering how much the fried salmon plate was, it was quite expensive, but I'm willing to splurge because the food's good. It's $19. Um, this, this and the fried ahi belly 
are the only plate lunches that have market price because it changes often. So um, just be sure to ask what the price is for the salmon or ahi if you're looking for that. Everything else has a set price on the menu above the cashier. But if you're into meat, don't worry. They have lao lao, kalua pig, they have um, miso braised pork belly, um, ahi belly, they have their tamarind glazed pork ribs, which everybody likes, and garlic shrimp and stuff like that. They also have poo-poos for sale, like poi and um, kimchi, uh, let's see, chili pepper water, lomi lomi salmon, namasu, te tegu, and stuff like that. So definitely check them out in the Pearl Kai Shopping Center if you're ever passing by through the IEA Pearl Ridge area. And just stop by Monarch Poke and get something. You know, you can never go wrong with the food Adam cooks because it is all very delicious and so creative. Takes a local food and takes it on a spin uh, and gives it his own creativity. And I think that's so awesome. So thanks for joining me. And I'll see you again next week on another food adventure like this. If you like this video, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again next week. Peace out and take care.